Hey everyone, I'm back with another unboxing video. The last one was about scarves, which is right here, which I still have. It's absolutely amazing. Like, I love wearing it. Like, it looks great uh, with brown, black, and gray, which are usually the colors I usually wear. And so this is the new, okay, sorry, you guys do not care about the scarves. You, you click this video to watch an unboxing video about knives. This is a Chris Reeve knife. It's a small Sabenza, as you see in the freaking uh, title. So basically, I do not know much about knives. I don't know much about steel. I don't know much about like all of that. So you're gonna be seeing, you're gonna be watching an unboxing video by someone who has no knowledge of that stuff. And I literally just bought this because I kept like, like I saw like this Reddit post about like EDC like everyday carry and this guy had like a Chris Reeve knife it's like a um um cum zams whatever like th that one looks really cool and basically like he had like a knife and then a pen and something else don't know but I was like I saw that knife and I was like wow what the heck is that so then I literally like went through the feed whatever and then like I just kept looking until someone was like, yeah, that's a Chris Reeve knife. And I literally went on the website and I was like, damn, that looks so cool. Like, wow, it's so nice. And then I saw the like, the price tags on the freaking knives. It's like, it's really expensive. And then I just like kept looking through on the site and I just saw, oh shoot, like there's a smaller knife. It's like a Sabenza. Cause I don't want to wear, I'm in Canada and I don't know much. I also don't know about knife laws here, but uh Basically, I don't want to carry like a big weapon around. Like, I just want something nice and cute and something I can carry every day and something for me to like be obsessive with. Yeah, pretty much it. So anyways, here's the unboxing video. As I was saying, you can, yeah, you probably already skipped to this part. So this is where you want to stop skipping. So this is what it looks like. It's a Sabenza Tanta. Wait, no, sorry. That's, that's what I want. It's a small Sabenza 31 plane. Uh, it's a drop point. Um with silver and then I got like lo double lugs because I like there was a site that I ordered it from it's called true north knives in Florida so they had this in stock you at the time of this video they still have another one of these I don't have no idea how much of these they have but they have another one of these so basically uh I saw that like this site was offering like single lugs and double lugs no idea what that was I'm gonna show you later but uh the consensus on reddit was to get double lugs so that's what i did anyways it's like a 25 dollar difference 25 us dollars difference so yeah i imported that shit here because i could not find any sites here with a reasonable price like with the price that i'm expecting in canada and yeah like there was some there's a site like warrior something in vancouver trying to charge a thousand dollars for this knife and i'm just like no so anyways, I imported it and it's much cheaper than a thousand dollars. So anyways, oh yeah, sorry, I let me just restart. So I you, you just watched me take that out. So there's nothing inside the box other than that and this and this sticker, okay? Then you're gonna see this. I might just invert this, I don't know. Anyways, so there's this. Ooh, so this is like the paperwork, I guess. Yeah, so you can see this. That's what it looks like. Let me just make sure that there's nothing um, personal here. Okay, yeah, so cool. So yeah, so all right, this is what it looks like. Um, oh, so this was made in June 20, 2022. So uh, this is December right now. So I'm just like, wow, it's been sitting that long. Even if it's been used, I don't care. Anyway, so this is the specifications. Uh, yeah, so silver, double lug, drop point. I wanted the Tanto. I couldn't find a Tanto, so I'm just like, okay, you know what? Like, if I'm gonna get that Tanto one, I'm gonna get that, that big um zum whatever name. um zum zan whatever. Anyways, this is what it looks like. Uh, yeah, it's this one and that. Yeah, so this is this baby. Uh, it's, I mean, birthday when it's born. June 20, 2022. Like, that's, that's a very nice number. So six two zero two zero zero okay anyways so that's what it looks like there okay i'm just oh yeah and here's a guarantee cool and so that's that and the second one is all about 
how to take care of it basically and what the parts are which is pretty cool see so yeah, i like this this is so cool so 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 cool like i said i do not know anything about knives i do not know anything about metals construction anything like that this is just like a hobby like you know i'm buying this to basically just keep it on me at all times you know like because every time like sometimes when i have an apple to slice i want to like cut some tags on my like some clothes i buy or whatever you know like i don't want to have to like run around carrying like looking for scissors i don't want to carry scissors around like unless it's a small one so oh yeah here's a sticker they give you a sticker i'm never gonna use it but i just keep it in here you know for um sentimental reasons but yeah so there's this too so i guess i have to register for something okay so yeah and there is these it's like, there's some other information here so it's pretty cool oh it's just it's oh it's just giving you like the timeline this is like a timeline of everything it's really cool yeah and what's this so basically kind of like their mission statement so very cool like the paperwork is really nice I'm gonna put this back in here. And I'm gonna take very good care of this because that's me, right? I take good care of nice stuff, of the nice things. Okay. I don't know why I said that, but anyways. Oh, and then the, here is the cloth and the knife. So they literally just like wrapped it in the cloth. Like it, it just came in like this. So right here, it was right here. And then yes, the cloth is pretty nice so I'm guessing this is what I'm gonna use to take care of it and here is the lanyard that I heard so much about but like I saw online that there was some metal like a metal ring around here which I thought was ugly so it's kind of nice that it's not there but I'm not sure if it's supposed to be there or not so yeah this is the knife um it kind of feels like a little rough like it's not like it's kind of smooth but it's not I think this is sandblasted or something was it sandblasted? Not sure, but yeah, this is what it looks like. I'm shooting this on an iPhone 13 mini, by the way, so please appreciate, uh, not appreciate, sorry, please have patience as I try to focus this right here. Okay, anyways, that's what it looks like. So yeah, these are the lugs I was talking about. See how there's two of them? So like I was looking at the pictures on the site. It's called True North Knives, and it's like the Florida Hollywood one. And on their site, like they even show like this a picture of it being like this. And the single lug is like only one of these. So I got double lugs. So there's two like there's there's like one on each side, right? So on Reddit, the consensus is to have two. But I guess like you know if you want to save twenty five dollars or I don't know like if it's not important to you, then. Um, then don't get it so anyways oh i'm like slouching my back which is not good anyway so i okay let me take off this ring too i keep seeing like videos of people as because like i was trying to i was in anticipation so, okay so obviously like i saw a video of people like doing this and trying to open it um like with one hand but i cannot do that so ooh, that is nice okay let me just do that again because i talked over the click okay so i can like i'm not able to Oh, okay, wait, let me just try it with one hand. Yeah, no, it's not working for me, so I'm I, I'm, I'm gonna have to use two hands. This is a small Sabenza, by the way. Um, so this is what it looks like in my hand. And I'm like, I'm an average height person, so like I'm 5'5 five five and a half. So I mean, if you're like, you know, you don't want a small knife, but this is not that small. I have a smaller knife. Uh, like way smaller than this so it's this is like my my hand size like it's perfect okay so I'm gonna open this for you without talking so you can hear the click okay let me do that again oh yeah and this is like a lock thing so you know it's not gonna I don't think it's gonna come down yet it's pretty strong so basically this is what you just go here and it's, it's not hard to do that at all but I have to use, I'm going to have to use both hands. Maybe it's because my hands are too small for it or whatever. So yeah, here, again. Maybe this way is better for you.
Yo, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is the drop point. I want the I want the Tonto because like it's like a it's two blades. You actually get two blades and then I don't know, like it it's just cool. Yeah. This is cool too. So yeah, um basically like I'm not even gonna like I'll just be like slicing apples, cutting stuff, peer, peeling, 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 peeling. But yeah, this is so cool. Yeah. Yeah, and then there's like it says Idaho made. I'm not sure that's how you pronounce it. I'm Canadian, by the way, so let me know if I'm saying it right or wrong. Um, yeah, this is just so cool. I'm admiring it so much. Yeah, I want a kni another knife already, but they're really hard to find. And the fact that I'm in camera. Oh, I just like kind of sliced myself and there was like my dead skin on it. But yeah, this is nice. Nice. I'm probably not gonna, I'm probably gonna get one more pocket knife, which is the Amzen one with the Tanto, and I'm not gonna buy another one unless it is the Amzen whatever Tanto. If I don't see it, I'm not gonna buy it, right? And then I think those will be like my two for life because damn, like this is so nice. I don't think you can get nicer than this. And I like the fact that the logo is like very minimal and small. Like I don't like those big logos right on the blade. Like I. I'm just not into that and so i like that it's on the handle and it's very minimal like i can i can still kind of see it but like it's not doesn't really attract my attention to it because the blade is so nice the handle is so nice i don't know if i'm gonna keep the lanyard but it's the lanyard is pretty nice too so yeah i'm gonna be like feeling yeah well that's it for this okay so i guess i'll just close this for now Okay, so I'll just leave this here. Uh, this is the cloth, by the way. It's it's like it's like glasses cloth. It feels like I don't wear glasses too, so there's that. Like I'm making assumptions, I'm making observations from the standpoint of someone who does not know anything about knives or glasses. But like this cloth kind of feels like glasses cloth, so it feels nice. Like, like it's nice. Like I, I'm most likely I'll just keep it to I don't know clean my knife whenever. And then there's this. I'm guessing this is the stuff to take care of to maintain the knife. So there is this fluorinated grease, which I'm guessing is to make sure that you know, like it's for the like the action here. I'm not sure if that's how you call it, but yeah. I think if it's wrong, if I'm making a wrong assumption, please say so in the comments and which will also be helpful for other people who are, you know, stalking my comments. If there's anyone who's doing it. Anyways, um, what's this? Part, what? Full label information. Yeah, I don't know what this is. Uh, so I'm gonna have to Google this. I'm not even gonna edit this, this video as well. So you're gonna get the raw um, video, but yeah, like, you know, if you wanna take a look and, figure out what that is i'll figure out what this is maybe i'll explain in here okay parts clean wipe the blade oh yeah so sharpen i'm never doing that clean wipe the blade clean with this face with this soft cloth rub rinse with fresh water uh disassemble so the floor and then lubricate the pivot with a small drop of this oh i'm guessing this is high quality gun oil oh no never mind sorry this low loctite 22 ms so you may use the provided lock sorry okay forget about that gun oil whatever i just said so i'm thinking this is for the lubrication and then this is the Loctite 222MS to help your stop screws maintain the true position while still allowing you to break the hole as needed. Yeah, I don't know what that means, but I'll Google it when the time comes, hey? So yeah, guys, this is the unboxing video of the Chris Reeves Small Sebenza 
drop point knife. Okay. Hope you find this helpful and entertaining somehow. And yeah, apparently like there's a new one coming out called, this is like the what? 40 something steel. I don't know. Don't know. And then there is the Magna Cut. This is not Magna Cut. I don't think so. Maybe it is. Just kidding. It's June 20 this year. So I don't think they came up with Magna Cut yet. But like, that's so freaking nice. Oh my gosh. Anyways, it's so nice. Like, wow. Yeah, I'm gonna have to like um, understand main maintaining instructions because, you know, it would be a shame if this rests, right? So yeah. All right. Have a great day, guys. Thank you so much for watching and having your patience to watch 15 minutes of this video. Yeah. Well, we'll see you next time.